How to do a binomial expansion with a TI Inspire CX calculator. This video lesson is on how to use a TI Inspire calculator to expand binomials. To find out how to use instead a TI84 series calculator to expand binomials, click here on the left side of the screen. If you are in a pre-calculus class like my students, you've expanded binomials like this one, quantity x minus 3 squared, dozens or maybe even hundreds of times. And this is what the expansion looks like. It's expanded, this expression is x squared minus 6x plus 9. But what if we have this expansion, the same binomial, x minus 3, but expanded to the third power? Building on the work we did earlier, quantity x minus 3 cubed equals quantity x squared minus 6x plus 9 times quantity x minus 3, a trinomial times a binomial. And using the distributive property of algebra, we would multiply each term from one factor by each term in the other factor as shown here with the green connectors. After distributing and simplifying, we would get x cubed minus 9x squared plus 27x minus 27. We could continue this process as many times as we want to determine the expansion to any non-negative integer power we choose. But expansions to greater powers will get enormously tedious and increasingly prone to foster mistakes as the numbers and complexities of calculations increase. Fortunately, there is a pattern to expansions as they get larger, shown by the binomial of the quantities a plus b raised to the increasingly larger powers. At the bottom, we have quantity a plus b to the fifth power. This pattern of coefficients can be condensed down to what we call Pascal's triangle. Here the coefficients are highlighted in green, and here is the triangle with just the coefficients left over in Pascal's triangle. We can continue to expand Pascal's triangle by adding the coefficients going downward as shown below. We can keep up the pattern and find coefficients for increasingly larger powers. While I would like to continue developing the concept of the binomial theorem, the real purpose of this video lesson is to show how the TI Inspire calculator can give you these coefficients to make an expansion a lot easier than by either expanding the expression using the distributive property or even by using Pascal's triangle. But I thought an introduction would be helpful for the viewer to understand the meaning of the calculator output values. We start by pressing the home key. Now to the calculator. I invite the viewer to pause the video if necessary to get your calculator and follow along keystroke by keystroke. Press enter. This is a calculator page. Press the menu key. This is the calculator view menu. Scroll down to menu option 5, probability. Press enter. Instead of scrolling down to option 5 and pressing enter, you could just press the 5 key. Scroll down to option 3, combinations. Press enter. Alternatively, you could have just pressed the 3 key. Now we're going to talk about this notation for a combination. This NCR is verbally pronounced N choose R. N refers to the power that the binomial is raised to. For instance, in the expression quantity x minus 2y to the power of 9, N would be the number 9. And R is the number of the term. For a binomial like the one above to the power of 9, there are 10 terms which we number 0 through 9. Now we'll use the calculator to determine the coefficients. Enter the value for N, 9. Next, press the comma key at the lower left of the keypad. Now, enter the bracket by pressing the control key, followed by the close parentheses key. You will have an open bracket with a cursor blinking within. Now, enter the numbers 0 through 9, each digit separated by a comma. Something to look out for when getting all the coefficients. The number of integers, starting with 0, each separated by com a comma, must be one more or one greater than the value of n. In this case, n is 9, and the number of integers entered is 10. The digits 0 through 9 are these 10 input values. Press Enter. These 10 numbers calculated separated by com commas are the coefficients of the terms in this binomial expansion. In terms of a and b for the two terms in the binomial, here's what this expansion looks like with all the proper powers and coefficients are in place and the coefficients are in green. Now let's consider an application using the binomial quantity shown above, x minus 2y to the power of 9. What is the fourth term of this binomial expansion? 
we'll go to the fourth term and plug in x for a and negative 2y for b. Plugging in x for a and negative 2y for b, we have 84x to the sixth power times negative 2y to the third power. And simplifying, since negative 2 to the third power is negative 8, we have 84 times negative 8x to the sixth power times y to the third power. And making a final simplification, we have our fourth term in the expansion equal to negative 672x to the sixth power y to the third power. And we box in our correct answer. We could have done the this the long way, multiplying the new polynomial by quantity x minus 2y several times until we got to the ninth. But that would be would take a long time and give us multiple opportunities for mistakes. Let's do one more. Find the third term in the binomial expansion of quantity 3x plus 2y to the power of 4. I invite the viewer to pause the video lesson and try to work out the value of this term, then play ahead to see if you got it right. To get this operation, press menu, then 5 for probability, then 3 for combination, then enter 4, then comma inside parentheses, then the digits 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4, each di digit separated by a comma. Now the inside it's going to be inside bracket, those, those 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 have to be inside a bracket. After pressing enter, this is what we get, the coefficients 1, 4, 6, 4, and 1. With five terms and using a and b, this is what the expansion looks like. And here is the third term of that expansion. Now in this third term we replace a with 3x and b with 2y. And squaring both 3x and 2y we get 6 times 9x squared times 4y squared. And multiplying all the numbers together, we get 216x squared y squared, which we box in as our correct answer for this, the third term. One last thing. Sometimes you might see n choose r written as n at the top inside parentheses and r at the bottom inside the same parentheses. Just something to show you that you may encounter, and so perhaps you won't be very confused when you do. Also, there's a formula to find the coefficient for any term. It's n factorial over r factorial times quantity n minus r factorial. And while I won't show you how to do the keystrokes, here is the formula entered into the calculator. For our first problem, the fourth term of a binomial to the ninth power, we get 84, just like we found out earlier in our first example. This has been How to Do Binomial Expansion with a TI Inspire CX Calculator. Thanks for viewing.